Hello, it's Alina from Excavate Mastery here. And today I want to talk about how you can get a total for a trade out of Xactimate. There's several different ways to do it, just depending on what you're looking for. So let's say you wanted a total for paint for uh, material only or for labor only, there's a way to do that. And if you want material and labor, want a total, I found a new report that I haven't really used in the past that seems to uh, give us a really cool, good total for the whole trade. So let's go take a look at a couple different ways to get some totals out of Xactimate. Let's take a look at how we can get those totals out of an estimate here. So I am already in an estimate. I'm in estimate items. I am using the X1 version of Xactimate. So if you're using 28, just cancel out this blue ribbon over here. In fact, we'll collapse that to help you not be distracted, but everything else here should be very similar to 28. I'll point out any differences as we go along as I have to use X1 for those that need training in X1. So anyhow, I um, also, by the way, would not recommend upgrading at this point in time. It is May 2019 and X1 is still a dog with fleas. Unfortunately, not a fan, but again, have to use it so I can help people. So don't upgrade yet. I don't believe it will be to your advantage, but trust me, I will release a video when X1 gets its act together and uh, stops crashing on me three times a day. Okay, <laughs> let's get into the video. Let's see. So what I've been asked is uh, we want totals of different trades. So I want to know how much painting for labor material is in this estimate as a whole. So you could go through and line by line, add up everything, or you could go and highlight your grouping tree and then control A to select all. So that's what I did is I selected all here. And then you can see all of your PNT line items like this. However, when you do this, it'll give you the quantity, which some people just want the quantity, but it won't give you the dollar amount. So to get that dollar amount, we're gonna go over to um, the components tab. So if you're in 28, you'll see a main tab that says estimate items and then a sub tab that says components. For us using X1, it's in the top right corner. So in again, in 28, it's a sub tab. Here in X1, it's hidden up in the top right. Go to components here. And if I select everything on the list here in the components, then it'll give me a drill down of all of the material that it's giving me uh, here, all the PNT categories would be my painting, and then the labor. So the labor is separated out, but at least you can get some totals here. So there's the total labor amount, and then if I add all of these line items together here with the PNT, I could get a total. Now, I did stumble across actually another way to get this out, uh, these numbers out of the program. So I'll show you a new report type that I found. Uh, this report type, by the way, is only available in the contractor profile, not in the carrier profile. So if you write everything in the carrier profile and you want to do this with an existing project, you'll need to go ahead and duplicate the project into the contractor profile. I have a YouTube video on that, so I'm not going to show the specifics on that, but go check that out. Go search for changing the report type and uh, you can change over to the contractor profile. And in here, we've got a report type that's the customer total amount. So watch, I don't use this very often, but I stumbled upon it today when I was kind of looking at how we can get totals out of here. And let's see if this one will work for us. Um, so I can go ahead and filter by trade. So I'm just gonna select the, the PNT category and that's fine there, just gonna apply that and the line item detail, we're gonna go ahead and view, and it will give me my quantity. So my uh, square foot, my linear foot, and then it actually gives us the grand total of material and labor already pre-populated. So you will see here, of course, it doesn't really delineate what's material and what's labor. It's just gonna give you a grand total for this category. So if that's not what you want, I would go with the components section, and if you wanna break down of what the labor is separate from the material, you will need to go over there, but if you just need a total amount, looks like this report is uh, gonna give us that total by trade. So that is something that people have asked me, you know, I just wanna know a number, I've got a sub bid, I wanna know what Xactimate's spitting out and kind of do a comparison and see where we're at with our numbers. This uh, report seems to be something that might be useful for that kind of scenario. Otherwise, I would just stick with the estimate items and uh, go to that component section in order to see the specifics of what's included in the materials and broken out by labor. So that's uh, useful there for that kind of scenario. My name is Alina Wilson with Exonate Mastery. For more information on the information... 
My name is Alina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. For more information on the Xactimate training that I provide to contractors, go to my website at eximatemastery.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this topic, please press that like button. If you enjoyed this topic, please press that like button below. That helps me know what kinds of videos I should be producing each week for you to view and learn more about. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to comment down below. My name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. For more information on the Xactimate training that I offer to contractors, visit my website at xmatemastery.com. Hope you have a really great week in your business and I'll see you next week.